Documented to be almost always right. 99.7% of the time. El Rushmore, the all-knowing, all-caring, all-sensing, all-feeling, all-concerned Maha Rushi. And to Clinton, Tennessee next, this is uh, Anel, Aniel. Aniel, great to have you on the program. Hi. Hi, thank you. I have wanted to talk to you since I was uh, 14 years old, but I'm just a little bit nervous. Uh, well, you don't need to be nervous. We're going to be gentle and kind. It's going to be like your back being rubbed with a mink glove. Oh, well, thank you. I would like to talk about the new um, college initiative that Obama is presenting today. Free community college. Isn't it great? It is great. But I also, I think that, for me, it's just a little bit too short. And it's something, because I'll, I'll be finished with community college this year. And well, I, wait, 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 what do you mean it's too short? Well, I, I just barely missed the deadline. And what about these students that are just missing the deadline? Shouldn't oh, they get some free you school off? You're not going to get it free. No, not at all. Well, it has to start somewhere. It does have to start somewhere. Yes, you're right. Maybe you could petition for retroactivity on the basis of hardship. I just saw... Honest to God, there are now 92.8 million people not working in this country. To, and for the first time, what is it? Uh, hang on just a second. It's a uh, uh, record number of women unemployed. So you can play hardship. Maybe you get retroactivity on this. If you want to call some government agency. That would work. But don't, I think that it should also be more up to the states. Because being from Tennessee and the governor proposing the Tennessee Promise, and also, there's already been Tennessee Achieves here, and that has seemed to work great. I wasn't eligible for that, though, because my school didn't offer it. I would have taken advantage of it, too. Also. Isn't, isn't is Obama speaking at your college today? Or in, in, he is speaking. He should be speaking there in a matter of minutes. Well, you've got a golden opportunity. You're going to be there, aren't you? I put. I wasn't one of the chosen to go today. I put mean, in for it, but I wasn't picked. We, there was you, a lottery system. What do you mean chosen? Obama chooses people to show up at these events. I hadn't heard that. There was a lottery system, and you like put in for a ticket because oh. it was a simple. Like it was just a ticketed event. Oh, and I wasn't so able to. You go. didn't win, in other words. It's not no, I didn't win at all. Show. Right. Okay. Well. And it looks like you're on the losing side of life's lottery, too, if you're going to have to pay for community college. Exactly. And the ones who work so hard, are it seems like they're on the losing side all the time with this. How so? Because no, the ones who, has, it, to me, it seems, as I've looked at society, how it's happening today, right. that the ones who work very hard to try to achieve what they always dreamed of achieving yeah. seem to have the harder time doing it because the because they fall through the cracks and the ones who sort of skate by doing So what is this are you, are you um does does this mean you're going to give up working hard or trying because you think it's futile? Oh no, not at all. I think that the only really hard work is if you're going to achieve something that you should try to work your hardest for it. Hard but, work is good for you regardless of the outcome. I mean, if it's a job, you get paid. Don't, I mean, factoring all that in, but much better than not working. Right. Much, much better. Um, so you're you're serious. You're you're upset. Yes, I'm upset. That you're having to pay and they've just started free community college and you've missed out on it because of the accident of your birth. That's why you're... Yes. Missing. Yeah. Yes. Well, I feel you. Thank you. I do. Um, but it's a hardship, you know, it's one of these unfortunate, you just got dealt from the bottom of the deck and yell. I guess. During a Democrat administration, it usually happens that way. It seems to. It does. So what are you going to do? What do you mean, what am I going to do? Well, you can't get free community college because you don't qualify. Right. So... I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you've got to look past it, or are you going to... Oh, yeah, I'll look past it and just keep paying like I have these past... All right. How many years left do you have? Um, I'll graduate from community college in the summer, and then I'll go on to my four-year degree. And do you have a place chosen for that? 
Um, hopefully UT, but I'm not 100% sure yet. University, University of Tennessee. Yes, in Austin. You can apply for grants to get in there? Um, more just student loans. Yeah. And maybe a couple of scholarships if I'm lucky, but you usually have to be financially stricken to get those also. Really get a scholarship? You have to be in financial peril? Most of the scholarships I've read, it says, depending on your financial status. Wait, are you an athlete? You might be able to get in there. No, I'm not an athlete. Ah, that's too bad. And that's what I saw also all these years. If I was an athlete, I'd be right in there. So you've gotten a shaft in the life's lottery twice. You're not an athlete, so you get a scholarship that way, and you miss free community college by a year or two. Yes, but but here I, I'm on the dean's list. I've been in the National Honor Society, but I'm not getting anything except putting in my hard work. Well, that's the third. So you're on the dean's list, and it's not getting you anything. Ex- yes, exactly. I don't know how you're going on with this. I mean, I mean, every day it seems like it's an excrement sandwich for you. It, yes, yes. <sighs> so, what do you think I should do? Just keep keep my hard work going. I think, in all candor, you really want to know what I think. Yes, I do. Do I have permission, really, to tell you what I think? You do. Stop focusing on what not happening and make good stuff happen to yourself. Don't okay. don't become paralyzed by the thought that you're missing out on things. Don't get paralyzed and don't feel disadvantaged. Don't feel like you're getting screwed or or ignored because life is made up of that. You have you're going to have to make your own breaks and you'll do that with hard work and passion. But don't don't allow these disappointments, which in the big scheme of things, and you know, may seem big to you right now, but in the big scheme, they're minor. You'll be looking back at them, and you'll hopefully look back at them with pride as to how you overcame them. We all have things in front of us that we have to overcome. Everybody has obstacles out there. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what you see in the media. There's only there are very few people that have the road paved for them. Very, very few. Most people work hard as they can and are devoted to their desires find out what those are and go for it and and do not run around feeling sorry for yourself don't let these minor setbacks convince you that you're a loser that you don't have a chance too many people fall into that trap of thinking that the deck is stacked against them and there's no deck and yell there's no puppet master determining how you're going to end up Except you. Okay, so some people that come after you get free community college. Let me tell you something. It isn't going to be free. They're going to have to do something for it. They don't know what yet. But there's no such thing as free. The professors are going to get paid. Somebody's going to pay for it. Your neighbors, your fellow taxpayers are going to pay for that free community college. You know what you could do? You can go walk down the street you live on and ask people to pay for your tuition because that's effectively what's going to be happening. But you wouldn't do that. I know that you wouldn't. You wouldn't go down every street corner in your neighborhood, every door knock on, hey, can I have 500 bucks to pay for college? You wouldn't do it. You'll vote for people who'll do it for you, but you wouldn't do it because that's not who you are. But that's what's going to happen. Free anything from the government is never free. Somebody's paying for it. So your big task is to not fall prey to feeling sorry for yourself and thinking you're missing out on this or missing out on that. Everybody does. You're not unique in that regard. Everybody has tough times. Everybody has obstacles they have to overcome. And your character is built dealing with all that adversity. You can do it. We'll be back. Don't go away, folks. It's real simple. Danielle or Anyel, if you're still out there, and all the rest of it, just do not become a victim. Do not allow yourself to become a victim. Resist victimization, because all that is, is laziness. Victimization is blaming people you don't even know for things they haven't even done to you. And you end up paralyzing yourself, and you end up justifying yourself as a failure based on Supposed acts, people you've never met. That's what victimization is. 
Democrat Party loves victims. They love as many as they can create. They like people to think the Republican Party is ruining their lives. But if you become a victim, if you willingly succumb to victimization, you have made the decision to amount to nothing. And you're going to go through your life blaming people you've never met for doing horrible things to you they haven't done as an excuse for you never having done anything. And that's a cop out. So don't be a victim of your own victimization. Resist it. Now, the community college business here. L.A. Times has story. President Obama rolled out a new plan yesterday to make two years of community college free, or nearly so, for millions of students across the Fruited Plain. A major investment that the White House cast is changing the face of higher education. Obama filmed a little message about this while on Air Force One posted it on Facebook yesterday. And he said, what I'd like to do is to see the first two years of community college free for everybody who's willing to work for it. What the hell does that mean? Why should you have to work for something that's free? I know what he attempts to say there. Um, well, I think your education ought to be free. As long as you're going to work hard at, at being indoctrinated. If you're willing to accept our propaganda, you work hard at believing our propaganda, I'll make it free. That's such a deal for him. Hell, if I could propagandize everybody that way, I could buy their minds and buy their hearts. That's what he's trying to do. Who's going to run the curricula, do you think? Who's going to hire the, the faculty, do you think? How do you think the federal government gets its hooks in to the public school curricula. It's called a school lunch program. Once they make the schools dependent on federal money for lunch and everything else, they get to determine the curricula. Okay, so here comes Barack Hussein O, and he's going to give away the first two years of community college. And I guarantee you he's going to determine what's taught very subtly. And he won't have to work at it very hard anyway because education's already been corrupted by his people. But I'm telling you what this is. This, 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 this is an apparent gift because, there, folks, there is going to be shock and awe this year with the Obamacare rollout. And I, uh, people, some people are not going to get their tax refunds. The IRS is going to seize that money to pay what they owe on Obamacare. So let's see what we, let's, how does this add up now? We get to pay for everybody's health care, those that have their health care subsidized, and that's pretty much everybody. I mean, it's a big majority. And now for two years of community college. And guess what? The Democrats get their votes is how this works. So Obama's plan is to use other people's money, not his. Oh, no, 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 no. Except to the extent that all federal money is Obama's. He's going to use other people's money to pay for two years of college for young Democrat hopefuls and wannabes. The, the, the real question about this is why now? Not running for re-election. Why, why not announce this before the election? Why not make this a Democrat Party initiative before the election? Why do it now? What do you think, Snurdly? Why now? There's no electoral benefit why now? Well, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you again. It's because Obamacare is going to wipe out tax refunds from a lot of young people, subsidy recipients. Do you know that your subsidy is income on which you're going to have to pay tax? You think people getting help, Obamacare subsidies know that? They're about to find out. Obamacare is going to take tax refunds away from, from young people, subsidy recipients. And they're going to learn about that soon, and they're going to be really mad. And then, oh, but, but Obama's giving away two years at J.C. Community College. Oh, wow. The Democrats just wiped out, were just wiped out by the Republicans again in the midterm elections. 
There's another reason why. Republicans landslide electoral victory in November. Polls show that millennials are taking a more favorable look at Republicans. Here comes free community college. Don't doubt me.